Okay, um, afraid of heights in a tuning that you probably should not put your guitar in. Um, I used this, this is like a semi-hollow body um, electric guitar. I think that is what she's playing. I don't think this is a baritone guitar, but I think it's a semi-hollow body guitar with very thick strings on it. So if you wanna play, you know, I've done a lot of songs in detuned tunings, especially that Phoebe Bridgers uses or that are baritone guitar parts. Um, this is an absurd tuning. This is a open A flat. Um, it, I don't have strings that this is a good idea to do on, and that's why it sounds so floppy and, and uh, you know, rank, uh, buzzy or whatever. Um, but if you want to live this lifestyle, get a guitar and put like the heaviest strings you can find on it. Um, or you can do what I did and detune your regular guitar and it, and it might work. It just takes a lot of like, like I had to sort of tune it a bunch of times and get it used to being in this tuning to even have it be acceptable. Um, this tuning, open A flat, you could also go to open G sharp, is A flat. So that's like really far below, you know, that's like, that's like the regular low E, so it's detuned that many steps. <laughs> um, uh, a flat, E flat, or D sharp, A flat, or G sharp, C, um, E flat, or D sharp, A flat, or, um, or G sharp. Okay, so, yeah, crazy, crazy low tuning. And yeah, I played it on this guitar to get that kind of sound. The, the version, I watched like the, the, when they played it at the record store in Long Beach, um, and it sounds, some aspects are slightly different than the record, um, but I tried to kind of um, split the difference or, you know, whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, okay, so, um, this first chord that gets played a lot. So if you, if you do get into this tuning, for the record too, any other open tuning, the shapes and stuff will work. It'll just be the wrong, the wrong key. Um, okay, so um, first chord, this is kind of like the home A flat chord in this song. Um, it's like first finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string and pinky on the um, eighth fret of the third string. Um, you could theoretically just do that too, like you don't hear that that much. I do think she's playing that note. Um, so, and then the strumming is this sort of, you know, boom, cha, 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 boom. So it's like you play the low strings, especially the low, the sixth string. Maybe you can play the fifth string a little bit. Then you go up to these high strings and do a down, up, down, up, right? So it becomes, so it's like a down on the low and then a down, up, down, up on the high. High, high strings, you know? Um, on the record in particular, it sounds very like muted. Like it's almost like, like maybe it's a palm mute or they stuck something in there. I don't know. It's like this very tight muted sound. That's again where the type of guitar kind of makes a difference. If you play, I have my acoustic, maybe at the end I'm gonna grab my acoustic. It's like, you know, if you play it on an acoustic guitar and just kind of strum it, strum it out, it, it sounds cool, but it sounds different than, than, than the record, than, than, than the rest. Okay, not the record, but the rest, but you know what I mean. Okay, so, so you have this, that kind of strum. And yeah, so if you do some amount of palm muting, if you've never done palm muting before, you know, it, might take some practice, but try to put the sort of side of your, it's called palm muting, but you tend to use more of like the side of your hand lays down on the strings. So you gotta kind of get that, that muted sound. Okay, so the intro is two bars of this. Okay, now verse one, two. Now first finger is gonna just move from the fifth fret on the fifth string to the fifth fret on the sixth string. And now you're on this chord for two bars. When you're on this chord, your first finger is playing the fifth fret and the sixth string, and it's kind of leaning over and muting the, the fifth string. So you don't hear this string, you just hear. It's back to this for two bars. Now 
and this is the one that's a little different when I, when I saw her play it than on the, on the record. I don't I hear it maybe as this. So um, second finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and maybe keep the pinky there on the eighth fret of the third string. Right? Live, she goes into this. You kind of hear that. So it's this, it's second finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and pinky on the seventh fret instead of the eighth fret of the third string. It's a pretty chord, you get that. Right? Um, but again, on the record, I don't hear that note, so it might have stayed like that, but anyway. So that's for two bars, now you're back. And you just repeat it. Um, that's the verse, um, easy. So then the chorus, the first two choruses are the same and the third chorus is different. So the first two choruses, it's a little bit, again, live it seemed like she went to this chord first and then went to this chord, but on the record I hear it going from this chord to this chord, and also it's hard to tell, but it might be this chord. So that's actually what I played because I like how it sounds, um, but it might be this. But anyway, it's, it's the four chord, it's a D flat. Second finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, and pinky on the fifth fret of the third string. But again, you could also do, instead of the fifth fret on the third string, the third fret on the third string um, with the first finger. So this is for two bars. And then it goes down to this guy. So first finger on the first fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the sixth string, third finger on the second fret of the fifth string. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then this is a, a different variation on this. This is first finger on the third fret of the third string, and third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string for two bars. And then back to this, this guy to the seventh fret, across the seventh fret. Uh, second finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and pinky on the seventh fret of the third string. That's the main part of the chorus, and then it goes to this chord, back to this guy, the one with the first finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, and the pinky on the eighth fret of the uh, third string for two bars, and that's just sort of instrumental and brings you back into the verse. Again, that's how the first and second choruses end. So the choruses, and again, live, I felt like she started with this chord and then went up here. But what I hear is, is, uh, So that's the first and second choruses. The last chorus now, different. This is what I hear, I think it is. This chord first, so first finger. This is a version of this chord, but with this as the low note. So first finger on the first fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and, and now it goes into this like quarter note strumming. So you kind of ditch that pattern we've been doing and just start playing. So one, two, three, two bars, and then move down to here. So this is now first finger on the third fret of the third string, third finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, and pinky on the fifth fret of the um, fifth string, and then into this guy. So first finger stays there on the third fret of the third string. Now third finger moves to the fifth fret in the um, fifth string, and then this chord again across the seventh fret, second finger on the seventh fret of the sixth, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth, and pinky on the uh, seventh fret of the uh, third. Repeat that. And then back to this guy. First finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, pinky on the eighth fret of the third string, and that kind of slows down and peters out.
okay, there will be a full tab available at my Patreon. Let me know um, any questions or comments. And um, sorry about the crazy tuning. I thought it was worth it to do it. There's, I'm sure someone has made a regular tuning version available somewhere as a tab or a video, but I like to try to do it the way that she does it. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching.